Uh, welcome to Sunday Sermon. This is a, I'm actually recording as well. I'm in New York because I'm traveling. So um, I recorded one already. Well, I recorded one that's going to be aired whenever the, the Sunday, the, whenever their first Sunday in, was it the first Sunday? I guess it's the second Sunday, technically, uh, in, uh, what month is this? May. I'm, and uh, the second quarter. Hmm. And uh, so I'll be in Cape Town, then so I won't, well, I'll be in Cape Town, then I'm, I won't have the book here because I have copies. This is this is a copy that's at my, my brother's house here. And uh, uh, my copy, the original book, is actually in, in the Eastern Cape. So I'll be, uh, as I'm traveling around, I don't know when I'll get to that book, so I'm recording. The second one, you know, I put one ready for the, I guess that would be the eighth, uh, whatever that day is. And then the next Sunday... This will be the one for that. And this time we're going to go to, uh, okay, again, this is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book, The uh, United Independent Com Com Compensatory Code System Concept. Right, It's a, con it's a uh, compensatory uh, counter-racist code by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This is the uh, revised expanded edition, the 2016 edition. Right. Uh, by the way, it's a textbook uh, for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, which is white supremacy. He defines it as that. And uh, we're going to go, and there's nine areas of, of activity that uh, you should know about. And uh, the nine areas are, are economics, um, education. This is from page two of this, to tell you about it. Entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war, counter war. When he does, he does a program uh, on, on the internet. Uh, Mr. Bobby is the co-host or the facility whatever he shepherds the program through every week and um and they come on every tuesday for two hours um um well i, I usually download it so i usually listen to programs like the, the, the sunday comes out on tuesday i listen to it on a, a sunday and then i'll do it later on that sunday i'll do the, the sunday sermon so this is because of youtube this will be uh, how do we say this will be uh you know uh, premiered whatever so so as I'm traveling, it's the Sunday sermon will still continue. Isn't that wonderful? And I'm still dressed in the same outfit I had when I did the the uh, other page when we was on uh, doing economics, because the wonderful thing about the code, even though it's just a Sunday sermon, you could dress any way you want. In fact, the more the more down low, I should say, the more you know, uh, real you dress, that basically means you are with the peoples, and it's the peoples who need this, you know, because all them educated people they ain't gonna be dealing with mr neely fuller jr because he talked plain talk you know uh anyway so i'm gonna go to a page on the labor area four i'm gonna go uh to uh what well, this is page 143 i'm gonna go to uh this thing they the way he has it has these bold things makes a statement and then he, and he explains what he just said so right there in the middle of the thing um and it says here uh do the following when they're is a lot of anger, you know, we got those issues, hostility, distrust, meanness, and or treachery between and or among people of a job situation. This is specifically on job. For those of you, or uh, I'm retired or whatever, you know, for those of you people who have a job, you know, in a job situation, which means that you got a boss and, you know, whatever it is, and they're talking to you here. So I'm just relating to you. I'm not going to really, I, I never really had a well, I had jobs, but I never had a job that was like, like, like this. <laughs> okay. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six points he puts out here. Six points he says. With this, uh, with this again, uh, do the following when there is a lot of anger, hostility, distrust, meanness, and or treachery between and or among people in a job situation. Uh, first point. Minimize conflict by minimizing non-constructive um uh contact okay that's how you minimize conflict you know if you're in a non-constructive constructive situation zip get out of there okay avoid trivial conversation you know what i'm talking about that would be that water cooler thing you know i mean actually it's more detrimental than anything because to do the water cooler thing then you have to say something that everybody knows about so consequently you talk about some inane program you saw on TV or, you know, whatever it is. And I say, no, but this program is really important. You don't understand. This depicts black people. Uh, no, no. What well, I'm saying, though. No. 
uh, another point. Avoid trivial conversation. Avoid trivial conversation. Okay. Uh, conversation. Talk about things that are of constructive values. That's what I said, right? Keeping what you say short and to the point. Well, for somebody like me, that's see, I feel. Okay, let me talk. I'm talking to Mr. Neely for you. You heard what he just said. To the point. Don't be talking. We're in a system of 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 I call it Anglo uh, racist uh, white supremacy, right? That's what I call it. It's a system of Anglo racist white supremacy. And in that system, you know, it's like because we're in a system we have war. Then this is to the point. We warriors, you can't be meandering and trying to entertain somebody with the with your vast knowledge of whoever. It is not constructive. Okay. Uh, uh, another point. Uh, three. Greet people with a wish of good morning, good evening, etc. This is interesting. A lot of people, they're they're in there, whatever they they'll they'll call a program and say grand rising. You know, nobody knows what that is. I call it. I say top of the morning to you. That's Irish. You know, so. I'm, I'm already violent, not violent, I'm, I'm not taking his suggestion. That's right, it's a suggestion for victims. If they don't shoot you, you don't have to do what Mr. Neely Floyd Jr. says. I mean, he's he, he, he like in his ninth decade. So who gonna listen to a ninth decade old man, right? Or oh, I am, but. <laughs> uh, uh, do not, uh, but, do, but do not go from there into unnecessary conversation. Good morning, then you start saying, Hey, did you see when the when when the die or, or did you hear when uh, this politician did that or that that did that? Come on, you know, you know that's all distractions when they do stuff. You know, and let me tell you this is a thing. Let's not talk about. I forgot. I forgot when it was. I think it was then during uh, LBJ. Let's talk mid mid sixties, right? Right before Nixon or end sixties, and uh, there was a decision made by the big boys, the corporations, to. Give the presidency or any any time a president said anything that was the top of the news. Remember, there was only like four news channels, and they just had instituted the public public uh, public proper broadcast system, which actually was a there was a jab at it, a thing that I I was associated for a long time. That would be Pacifica Radio. Not it was a jab at non commercial uh, listener sponsored radio. Ship. They realized that hey, if we didn't do something, get something between the commercial and the, and the non commercial, then you know, hey, they'll be listening all be the non-commercial, but it was a commercial thing. So what, they, they instituted this thing, and first they just start with these guys at the end of the had like a brief thing. The, this program, the following, the, the previous program was brought to you by Archers, Daniel Minton, something like that, you know? And then pretty soon, they had these old long things at the end, it'd be like, that was only, like I said, it was like, what, five, five seconds? Then they started to make it longer at the end, and now you, they did this, whatever it is. So public radio is, and public uh, television is nothing but uh, something that mutes your ability to really support listen, uh, listener-sponsored radio or listener-sponsored uh, television. Well, you'll figure it out, okay. Um, do not respond to derogatory remarks or to joke-telling or name-calling except to say, hmm, or say, that's interesting. That's it, and say nothing else. This is interesting. Look, when I was in the Air Force, I was a lab technician, you know, so everybody afraid of needles, you know. Nobody bought, I was in McGuire Air Force, nobody bothered the medics. Nobody. We had, we had was, we, nobody bothered. Say, for instance, you mess with me, right? Oh. First of all, if you if you get a DWI, you, they come to the base and I got to take your blood. I can put more alcohol, you know, into the blood samples. You know? Or I can make it. No, I never did any of it, but I can make it disappear. But it don't happen. But also, you know, people just afraid of needles, you know. And everybody had to go through the lab sooner or later, you know. And actually, I was a really good phlebotomist. But if I didn't want to be really good. Whoops. Oh, Mr. Oh, oh, Mr. Here's a, here's a real trick. This is why you really did. Hey, you really did. I was part of this thing called a lot. I won't get into that right some other time. But say you messed me with my... Well, my girlfriend at the time was the dental technician. I'm just saying, nobody bothered the medics at McGuire Air Force Base when I was there between, say, 1972 and when I left in uh, 70, 74. We were, we ran that base, you know. Even, even the <laughs> women of the Air Force, the WAFs, women of the WAF, right? They had their own barracks there, too. 
and we we could okay look I mean we would only care I like oh let me leave that alone right but hey here's what we also do we are medics right let me, let's say let's say uh, somebody would get a uh, uh, clap you know gonorrhea right or like a, some mess with some girl we say girls because they were young girls or well women off base right we would actually you know I won't say kidnap the girl but get that girl up in there and treat her phew, you know because you know we had the penicillin stuff we we treat her and then we give her a lecture you know i mean this is on on this basic level this is not you know this wasn't no oh come here how many partners did you have you know you tell you yo no we didn't say yo back then whatever we said anyway hey the barracks man medics and mcguire for space between at least one out there between 72 and 74 we were something <laughs> okay um Avoid making statements about anything. Do not answer questions about uh, about constructive manners. Oh, I'm sorry. Avoid making statements about anything, but do answer questions about constructive matters, and do so in a manner that is courteous, cordial, cooperative, and for a constructive goal. Now, Miss Nelly Fuller Jr., you'll hear a lot of times say constructive, constructive. Get that dude, constructive. Const Am I doing what I'm doing? Is this constructive? Uh, I guess the, um, uh, um, uh, Sonia Sanchez has this thing. He would say, but how do it free us? Put put those two things in, in you know, the, the the great poet Sonia Sanchez, you know. If, every, if, 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 if you're doing something, think about do it free us. And at the same time, you can think of Miss Nelly Fuller Jr. It goes well together, you know. Is this constructive? If what I'm doing constructive, that's all I'm saying. Um, and this is the sixth point, the last one we're going to do in this section that we drew, right? If the situation permits, silently study something of constructive value when in the presence of others who are engaging in gossip and or trivia or non-constructive conversation. I had this most of my life because I'd be a reader, right? People be doing stuff. I said, oh, you know, I can go there and that stuff. I'm book start reading. And eventually they say, well, hey, Sloan, what you reading? <laughs> like, well, sure. <laughs> you know, oh, I'll tell you. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, this is Sunday sermon. I, you, you, like any, this is scripture. And then what I do, <laughs> scripture for page 143, by the way, under the fourth area of human activity, which is labor. <laughs> I would... Uh, I did a pro, uh, uh, and, and when I first got to South Africa, I was, they got me, be, oh, well, they invited me there because I have a specialty in audio drama, right? Okay, check out what happened. So I have a, man, when you, if you have one of my workshops, it's so much fun. Uh, I, hey, look, if you're not having fun when I'm doing stuff, then why well, do it, you know? So, and, we, and I get people a foundation, they start doing whatever they're doing, and then I take out a book, start reading. And so say, what are the kids I call them kids, you know? They would come and say, uh, Brother Sloan, we had a thing called, the, we had a sign that said, The Sloan Throne was this chair. It said, The Sloan Throne, right? <laughs> so I, I, they'd be on their way. And so I'd be reading a book, whatever I'd be reading. And they say, uh, say uh, Brother Sloan, we got, uh, 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 can't you see him reading? Why are you bothering me? You can work it out. Why me? Why? I'm not. I, you know, as much. Okay. Look, look, you can find the answer. Just just leave me alone. I do that a lot. You know, they, they would drive them crazy. But eventually, you know, because they, they, you're you self-taught. You see what I'm saying? So, anyway, so that's the, that's, that's, uh, that's the Sunday sermon for whatever date this is. Or the third Sunday in May. By the time uh, I, I get settled, uh, I, I'll probably, oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm going to be on a... Uh, from May 12th to July 3rd, 52 days, I'll be on a silence. I'll be in silence. So we'll figure out a way to get these, to get Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s message to you from the from the original book. But you'll see, you'll understand. Okay? So that's it for me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.